Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are going to talk about Nest.js microservices with the Kafka. I mean this whole mini series of four videos and this is the third video we are talking about and we are talking about Nest.js, uh, Nest.js microservices which are using Kafka as a transport. You can watch these videos independently also but when you watch them in a series you can get more out of it. So in this video we are going to set up first Nest.js uh, workspace which I have already covered in the last video but let's uh, talk about first setting up Nest.js workspace then we will start creating a gateway service and billing service and auth service and we will try to simulate this whole Nest.js Kafka communication. We will also set up the Kafka using docker and that is really very important because setting up Kafka with just random googling and getting docker compose file will not work. You need to use some official website like Kafka JS provides uh, that kind of resource. You can get a Docker Compose, spin up a, spin up that container, uh, spin up the container, Zookeeper and Kafka, and your Kafka will be up and running. So let's see all these things in action. So first of all, let's set up a basic simple application, and then we will convert this application into Nest JS uh, workspace. So Nest new API gateway. I mean, we already have a nest cli so we should be able to create this application something like this so source test folder and api gateway right it's like a very simple application we have created so now we will go into the api gateway folder and we will run nest generate app billing app right so we need the next thing we are doing is uh, going into the api gateway folder and just gener generating another application nest generate app and application name so this command is a little little different it's not same as nest new application name it's nest generate app and application name so you will see the structure what has happened it has deleted the source and test folder from the the gateway application and has it has moved those folders into apps folder so inside apps folder now we have two different things api gateway and the billing app so it's like this is how we create a different applications uh, in the nest yes. now the third application also creates created so api gateway auth app and billing app now we have three different applications here i will just rename the root folder to nest js uh, kafka setup right so this is the root folder which contains the apps in, inside apps we can have multiple applications and it shares the common package json so now next important part is you can see package json is uh, shared and it is it has we have only one node module for the whole lightweight monorepo created by nest.js we will just change the port because there are three http services we have if we go to the main.ts and we can change the port respective port for billing app auth app and api gateway now what my point is we are going to convert these services into nest.js microservices so first of all i'm just exploring all different options like how i can spin up the kafka locally so this calf drop is one of the option you can try to spin up the kafka locally i mean it provides the docker compose utility and using docker compose we can just uh, initialize the kafka i explored multiple options to to bootstrap kafka on my local but i found uh, one really very easiest option because all these docker compose files sometimes it works sometimes there is some error so let's try to find a best possible ways to spin up the Kafka container with a Zookeeper. So for running Kafka locally, you might find different resources, but this is the most uh, truthful, I mean most, most helpful I will say, running Kafka in development. Just focus on this, there is a docker compose file and the important part is you need to advertise the host name. So what happens is I also struggled spinning up the Kafka locally because I end up using a different docker compose file, different configurations and all. No. Go to this Kafka JS homepage, you will see running Kafka in development, copy docker compose file and this run this command. Because we need to advertise the host app, host, sorry, host IP. Host IP means your system IP, which is not local host, right? First you need to uh, export the host IP and then to the docker compose up because in the docker compose, you can see we are advertising the Kafka advertise host name. I mean, what it does internally is it will it is not going to expose the kafka on port 9092 but it is going to expose kafka for the host machine on the host ip 
So whatever is your host IP, which you can get from the Node.js uh, library, IP library, and then 9092. There is that is the place where the Kafka is exposed for your host container, host machine. So this is how we will just do Docker compose up, and we should be able to spin up the container. So for this whole system, whole setup, why we need? We, we need a Kafka, Kafka up and running with a Zookeeper. And uh, we need Nest.js microservices so that they can send a, we can have a pub sub kind of a mechanism through gateway service will emit an event. And then there is a billing service. Billing service is a consumer that will consume the event coming from the gateway service. This is a small setup which we are going to do. So first of all, we'll just spin up this uh, Docker Compose up. And this is where our application is already up and running. So this is where I have a Docker Compose up file. I mean, I already have placed this Docker Compose up in my code base. So you can take a look. So now the next thing we are doing is uh, writing the code. So we have three different applications. Uh, one is the gateway, one is the auth and one is the billing app, right? Now we need to find a way to start these applications together because we cannot just do npm run uh, this, npm run this. We can uh, run those concurrently. So these are the applications we have. And the default root application is API gateway. So when you go to the root folder and do npm run build, npm run start dev, what will happen is it is going to run only the API gateway. But we have three different applications in this folder, right? So we need to find a way. I mean, it's just, it just a hack we can do on our package JSON. So if you see here, I'm doing a simple build and API gateway is only built. So when you do npm run start dev, it will only start gateway service. How can we concurrently start all these applications? So I'm going to use concurrently module to run these three npm commands concurrently. So I can specify a pattern. So let's see how we can do dev auth, dev billing, dev gateway. Okay. So we can just have another command. So this is auth. So there is a auth app. Then another is a billing. So there we can specify this billing app. App name is an argument, nest start. And it knows it will look into the nest CLI. And what needs to be done, it will take care of that. Concurrently, I have installed. And then I can just uh, use that concurrently command to spin up. I mean, just specify a particular pattern. So this is what I'm doing. So what are we doing here? You can see concurrently and I'm specifying these different colors, color coding so that when these application runs, I can see the different colors so I can know which application is running and I'm specifying the pattern npm dev. So there are three commands with the, this prefix and dev gateway, dev auth, dev billing. And it should be happily should be able to bootstrap uh, all these application with a start command. So when I do npm run start dev, it should be able to run all these things together. You can see gateway billing auth. I mean, currently we don't have any much in these services. So all are up and running. Now what we are going to change, we are going to introduce, uh, we are going to convert these plain HTTP services into Nest.js microservices. For that, we'll go into individual services or because here package JSON is on the root. So we just need to add a Nest.js microservices at the root folder. So here we are adding Nest.js microservices at the root. Once it is there and Kafka JS because we are using Kafka JS transport mode. Once it is there, it is available for all the applications. So we have added concurrently Kafka JS and concurrently should be a dev dependency, not a dependency. Now, once this is done, we will start working on the gateway. So this is app controller, app service. What is my plan? How it is going to work? So we are going to have a simple API gateway, which I will hit a HTTP post API by sending some payload. That API gateway controller is going to talk to service and in, through the service, we are going to send an event to the billing service, to the Kafka. I mean, Billing service is actually acting as a consumer, which will read this event from the Kafka. So you will just publish that to the Kafka. And it's just like a simple message with some payload. For that, we need to create a, a proxy client. Okay, we need to, because this is the gateway. Gateway will access this proxy client. Through the proxy client, it should be able to publish the message to the, because here this service is acting as a producer. And there will be somewhere consumer which will read the message from the Kafka. It's like a publisher and a pub subscriber. So it's a producer here. So here I'm creating a simple method create order event. 
I mean, Kafka or, or and all these event-driven messaging happens through the events. An event is nothing but something which has already happened. Uh, I will just say, say that create order. Order has been created now and I need to send an event to the billing service to acknowledge me about the payment status or, or initialize the payment processing. All these things because event is nothing but a thing which has happened. Now we want to trigger uh, appropriate action on top of that. So we are writing a controller with a body. So this is the create order DTO. And in this, we already have a service. So we can just use that service, this dot app service dot maybe create order. And inside create order events just pass the payload because we are taking HTTP post and inside that we are asking user to submit some payload, which is nothing but a maybe a item ID or some, some information about the order. And here, we need to create a client because this is service. Now, why I need a client proxy? Because this is gateway. It needs to know where to publish the message. So here uh, we are going to create a client module dot register. We need to register the Kafka. Uh, so it, it can give us the client proxy and we can publish the message to the Kafka. So it just has some default options which we can specify. Client module dot register. The name is billing service. And inside the options, we are specifying transport mode, options client, and the consumer group IDs, billing consumer. And inside options, we need to specify, I think, the brokers, client ID and a broker. So this is how it looks like. What is the, the broker? Localhost 9092, client ID is the billing, and transport mode is Kafka. Okay. Now, this is our gateway service, where we already have a client module. Now we can just use this client proxy to submit the message to the Kafka. So what we are doing here, here we are going to inject the client proxy. So this is our service. Inside that we can just do is, uh, I think inject. And what is the name of the client proxy that we can check in the service itself. So here we are injecting billing service. That is the name of the uh, client we have created. Private read only, billing client proxy, and here billing proxy client dot emit. And this is just emitting a simple object. I mean, first of all, the event name is order created. We are emitting order created event with the and the payload is new order created event and just pass the maybe the IDs and whatever the information we are passing, order name and description and the payload okay so there is a user id we have i don't know like what all attributes we have in the interface user id and price so what is happening here if you look into the code we are using billing proxy client which we have already registered in the app module and then we are doing emit so where does this emit will go this emit will because we have registered a kafka client that means when you emit it it will go to the kafka to a particular uh, group and topic and then there is a consumer that will be should be listening for the order created a message pattern or event that we will check on to the subscriber or consumer service. So this is the Kafka client. Gateway is just emitting this. Now we need to work on the billing app. What billing app will does? Currently it's a nestjs HTTP service. So remember we have two things. API gateway is HTTP service. But this billing app needs to be nestjs microservice because it is going to access it is going to consume the events from the kafka because when it comes to publishing do we need to be a nestjs microservice no because i can just use a proxy client and i can send a message to rabbitmq kafka or anywhere but when it comes to listening or subscribing that uh, kafka it needs to be nestjs microservice so we are just changing it from the http service to create microservice pass the root module and the options and inside the options we are going to pass okay what is the transport mode different options client id and consumer id the basic things which we specify what is the broker and what is the group id billing consumer so we are using the same group id and the broker is same local host 9092 right and this is my controller and in this billing service i need to listen for the event pattern order created so by doing this, what I'm creating, I'm creating a listener to the Kafka and it is going to listen to these particular set of events. I mean, in Kafka, we have topics. You can listen to a particular, you can just subscribe to a particular topic. 
but that concept we don't need to worry about we, we are not creating topics here we are just this particular service will look for order created events now n number of events are coming on the kafka using order created events all will go to this billing service because billing service is like consumer microservice and here once you get the data you log it you further emit it to another microservice you store it in the database you process you take some actions that depends on you what do you want to do with this data payload which is coming through this process okay so this is data dot value we are just i'm just logging it for now so coming back to the kafka js i'm just looking at this example like how they are creating producer and consumer so here we are uh, using host ip and this is host ip this is host ip we are specifying client id can be anything topic you can use the same topic which you have created uh, so here i'm just trying to run this application and topic is a test topic so node test.js because before uh, i bootstrap the kafka using docker compose now i just want to test if it really works right before even trying the nest.js application this is the topic test i will just use a node test.js and if i'm able to connect to the kafka then okay things are good thumbs up we are able to connect to the group id and uh, this is how i'm able to successfully connect able to connect and here i'm using is host ip colon 9092 as a broker the next thing is we will start doing the same thing with our microservice we can just do npm run start dev that is the command that will spin up our both the service gateway billing app and author we are more interested on billing app and here you can see the messages consumer has joined the group billing consumer service so who is a consumer microservice is the gateway right billing billing uh, gateway is actually publisher and billing is actually consumer microservice it has joined the same group id that means it will start listening to those uh, particular set of event messages which we are going to publish through the rest apis so api gateway is nothing but rest api you can just hit something like this and send i'm just sending a simple mock payload user id and the price and i hit it multiple times and let's see the logs and you can see it is logging the data that means and this logging data is coming from billing app you can see this is being printed from the billing service that means you are able to publish the message to the kafka and then there is a consumer which is listening to that particular group id i mean part of the same group id and listening to that particular message pattern order created right and it is able to log the messages this is how this end to end flow is working so we are able to spin up the kafka successfully gateway service is running which is putting the messages publishing the messages and there is a consumer which is subscribing to those particular set of messages so inside this billing app uh you can see here we have service and you can just console dot log i think we need to specify data dot value here so we are specifying here simple data order created whatever the data we are getting and we'll just run this and now i will just try it again just to see everything works and i can i'm able to see the messages this is the payload we are sending from here right so we are hitting http post that is uh emitting the event which is indirectly going to the kafka and then there is a consumer service billing service which is reading those kind of uh, messages and able to log it now you can take a further action so this is the overall summary of this whole setup which is very simplified now you can make it as complex as you want we are we don't need to worry about what topic we just need to worry about the broker and the client id and the group id same group id you need to use at the microservice side and uh, same same the same the method names i mean we are emitting the event like order created so there should be a handler created at the consumer microservice for handling the order created specific events so this is a simple setup i will publish this on the github and you guys take a look